Hey y'all. Today I'm drinking the Comus Raspberry Porter. Combs, Comies. Um, it's a Polish Baltic Porter. Baltic Porters are stronger versions of Porters. Porters themselves are typically ales, but Baltic Porters being stronger versions of ales also tend to have um, lagering yeasts, which means bottom fermenting. Ale, the, the ale lager difference is ales have top fermenting yeast and lagers have bom bottom fermenting yeast. Porter is technically an ale or is most commonly an ale, but a Baltic porter is a lager. Lagering yeast used to produce. Um, so typically stronger, you're looking at 7% or higher ABV. This one in particular is as they say on the label, it is brewed with raspberry juice and then lagered with vanilla and chili peppers. I understand from online descriptions that it is actually, the, the raspberry juice is added, the raspberry juice, the bourbon, and the Indian chili peppers are added during the maturation process, which is after the brewing process. So I'm not sure how accurate that brewed with is, except you know, brew means make too as well. So um, this is, this has been my cupboard for a little bit. Um, I believe it was bottled in 2019 and it actually has kind of an aging guide on the back. Right there, there's kind of an arrow pointing the number of months you let it to sit and how the fruit is, or the flavor is supposed to develop. Um, they say the longer you let it sit, the uh, the more dry and complex it gets. So I might have to keep my pinky up for this. Um, also, I uh, have a different audio set up today and I have a stand for my phone, so no more shaky shaky. Um, hence, two hands. Look, Ma, two hands. Um, <laughs> so we'll see how all this works. Anyways, let's open up the Comes Raspberry Porter. I've often looked for beers. Ooh. Um, okay, uh, Blackstrap Molasses, like right out of the bottle. You get closer and you can tell it's raspberry, but the raspberry is definitely developed. And it's kind of a really sweet raspberry, like maybe a puree or slightly processed. Um, what was I saying before? Oh yes, uh, beers with chili. I have been look. I have often looked at beers with chilies. I like spicy things. So um, a sp spiciness in general is hard to integrate well into beers, and I've had more bad spicy beers than I have good. But the good ones are really good. Um, a a skillful brewmaster using chilies using spicy elements can be really something. Anyways, I'm looking forward to this and I understand Comus is supposed to be a generally well-regarded brand. So hopefully their brewmasters know how to treat Indian chili peppers. So let's pour it here. Okay. Almost no head. I mean, there's some frothiness, but it's really what you would call, I think, lacy, a um, little pebbly. So I understand variation in the size of bubbles indicates that they aren't using stabilizers in the beer. Um, so that's a sign of uh, natural processes to produce the head. Uh, so that's, that's a good sign. Once again, okay, so it starts molasses. And then as you get in closer, you can still kind of tell the molasses undertone, but um, you can more directly pick out the, the raspberry elements. It's quite dark. Um, it's like a, like a really strong coffee dark. You can just barely see uh, uh, light through it, only through the, like the topmost part. Um, they specifically call the bourbon, or the uh, the vanilla, Mad Madagascar bourbon vanilla. So I guess they're expecting that vanilla probably has some more depth and complexity to it. I think I'd agree. I'm not picking up pure bourbon. 
more of a an accent to this really like chocolate ganache like like chocolate frosting flavor um, chocolate would be very common to a, a porter a porter in general is a sweeter beer See how it drinks. It's not dry at all. Interesting. Okay. So, first thing, it's almost like it's a grain cereal like like checks, corn checks almost like for the first moment when it when it gets into your mouth or when you've opened your mouth and you're about to get it in. So, kind of a real grain really nice like a it's a it's a you know like check cereal it's, you, you like the flavor it, it tastes like grain it tastes like the corn or the or the wheat um but then quickly the raspberry kind of takes it in and kind of takes it over for the next three to four or five seconds maybe um before the raspberry kind of slips away and you're left with a, a sweet light molasses and then this Kind of nice roasty, toasty, but not super dark. Um, it's a, more of a medium roast uh, grain. Um, yeah. That just lingers, it really lingers for a long time, that grain. I can't say you taste any chili at all. Um, the, yeah, there's a little bit of cardboard. Um, a little bit of grassiness, so there's definitely some complexity, and it's it's all kind of little things. It's 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 there in the background. It's not like upfront punching you or anything. It's the, the 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 dominant characteristic of this is the raspberry. It is a raspberry porter. Here, you know, 20 months later, it it's not dry. It is fruity. It is still quite fruity. Um, my cellaring conditions are suboptimal it's a cupboard above my refrigerator which is convenient for that because it's kind of hard to get up there perfect uh, so they just stay in there and we don't have our home is heated but not air conditioned we live in the northwest so you know, the expectation hasn't been requiring air conditioning but we have had 100 degree 110 degree summer last last summer for a few days um, and pretty pretty warm temperatures over the summer in general and the house just gets hot during the summer with that air conditioning so suboptimal we're not it's not actually cellaring it it's not being maintained at a perfect 50 degrees uh, you know so your mileage may vary but it's not a um, I, I would expect the temperature changes to have increased the cellaring effects or caused it to go off. It is not off and it is also not dry. So I'm not sure if I believe that this cellar is particularly well. It doesn't go bad and I did not drink it fresh so I don't actually have any comparison but it's a pleasant very tasty beer. Um, it is surprisingly light. You'd expect a porter to be uh, kind of on the, the thick chewy side. Not quite stout. Stouts are an extra layer beyond porter and this is a Baltic porter though so it's a it's a sweet strong heavy porter but this is actually surprisingly light so definitely the brewmasters did a really good job they are good at their craft um, so so good on them for that um, I probably wouldn't age this next time or if I did I might get like five or six bottles so I can drink one every six months over the course of three years that'd probably be good to try um, but yeah, so this has been Comus Raspberry Porter, a product of Poland, and uh, I give it a thumbs give it a thumbs up.